Hi everybody, it's FIBO Group, and you are watching to the Market Watch Review. When Russia did what the US warned about since February 11, markets seemed to react in a hyperbolic way. Today's action was set by the recovery in S&P 500, Nasdaq and a $1.07 retreat from April WTI price, which saw a $1.90 pullback for gold from its highs. Hong Kong, the only Asian market to not trade higher today, was the only one. After plummeting to 3-3% yesterday, Europe's stock 600 has recovered almost 2%. Dollar block currencies, yen and yen are moving higher on the foreign exchange market, while the Scandies and the euro are suffering small losses. After yesterday's wild session, gold is now firmer. The price of gold is expected to rise for the fourth consecutive week. After gaining in the past four sessions, April WTI is not advancing. After finishing last week at just above $1.90, it is now near $1.92.75. Asian Pacific market. Japan is not one of the countries with high inflation rates. Don't be deceived by the 1% increase in Tokyo's February CPI year over year, even though it was higher than expected. Economists underestimated the increase in energy prices and fresh food prices. Consumer prices in Tokyo are 0.6%, less than they were one year ago if you exclude fresh food and energy. The greenback was confined to a fraction of a Japanese yen Wednesday when Japan was on vacation. Yesterday's range saw the greenback reach more than a 1.2 yen level and closed above Wednesday's high. Yesterday's volatility saw the Australian dollar fall below $0.7100. Today, it is back above $0.7200. Market of Europe Next week's economic highlight for the Eurozone is the preliminary February CPI estimation. According to reports, several large European utilities tried to get more Russian gas yesterday. Gazprom's long-term contracts are much cheaper than spot gas in European hubs, which many prefer. Yesterday's euro plunged to $1.11 before recovering above $1.12 in late trading as US equities recover. Sterling plunged from $1.3550 down to just below $1.3275, an all-time low for the year. However, it recovered to $1.34. Market of America The U.S. continues to impose sanctions on Russia, while maintaining coordination. This coordination comes at a cost. Russia isn't being removed from the SWIFT payment system in order to maintain membership in the European Union. The U.S. reported January consumption, income, and durable goods orders. Federal Governor Waller and Governor Bowman are putting 50 BP increases next month on the table. Yesterday's risk-off move saw the U.S. dollar jump through the CAD 128 zone to almost $1.2880. The gains were trimmed, but the greenback closed higher than 128. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.